really, really exciting video. I am showing you guys the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. What do I think of it? Does it work well? How does it apply? What should you use to apply it? And is the contour color really a soft contour? You know, it is $42, but I wanted to kind of dive in because I think that this could be worth your money, especially since it is a decent price. My Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation alone costs $42, I think. So the fact that they give you um, a contour with it, you're kind of getting a lot of your money. So I definitely wanted to try this out for you guys, and here it is. So yeah, before you guys get started, please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and let's get started. All right, so in today's video, I figured I would try out the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. This is in the color 2.2. Um, I saw it for the first time at Ulta and I was intrigued, but I didn't know if I wanted to spend $42 on a foundation, but it is a foundation and a contour. So I mean, both of those separately, my Smashbox Studio Skin costs like $40 and then a contour skin usually costs around 20 or more. So that one, maybe it's a good, good deal. So I figured that I would try it and see if it's worth you know, spending your money on because they definitely can be pricey, but if it works well, you're gonna end up saving money in the long run. Well, the benefit to this is that it is a two-in-one, it's a foundation and a contour, and supposedly Smashbox has made it so you don't have to find your contour shade anymore, they found it for you. So, I read the directions, but they're very simple. Choose shade by matching foundation size, or shade to your skin. Apply foundation where needed in plant and apply soft contour side, forehead, nose, hollows of cheekbones, and jawline, and blunt. So I figured I would give it a go. My only major concern is that I have oily skin, but I use Smashbox foundation anyways. So I figured they're, you know, they make good products anyway. So I'm going to give this a try and see if it, you know, hurts my oily skin or not. But this is the foundation side, and this is the contour side, and it's supposed to be really nice because it's angled. So it's supposed to help you kind of create the shape of your contour a little bit more easily, especially for beginners. So I already did my eyes to save time and I already primed my face and moisturized. I used Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate Glow Moisturizer and I used Benefits Pore Professional Matte Rescue um, Primer. So I'm just gonna go in with the foundation side and kind of just, when I use stick foundations, it is a learning curve because if you're used to using liquid foundation, it's gonna feel a little bit different, but I just usually draw a line. Like I'll do three lines on my cheek. And then I'll do the same on this side. Right here. Your nose can be one of the harder parts, and then I'm just gonna do my forehead. And then if you see any redness, you can kind of go back and figure it out. So yeah, let's see. I like a brush with stick foundation because I feel like it blends it better, but let's see. I'm gonna try doing one side with Beauty Blender. And next I'm gonna take my Tarte Bamboo Brush and I'm just gonna do this side of my face with my brush and see if that covers any better. Okay, I started doing this side with my brush because I feel like it covers more than the Beauty Blender. I feel like with a stiff foundation you need coverage, so you're gonna wanna cover a little bit more, so. I think I like the coverage of the, the brush definitely better than the baby blender. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little shape tape because I like to do my concealer before I do my contour just so that I have time to kind of work it in. I don't use a ton because I don't like really play full, full coverage concealer looks even though I do like shape tape. I like to look semi normal. <laughs> That's even possible for me, I think it's like semi. Basic. And I don't really like to bring shape tape down under my eyes so close like I just did because it will transfer. So this claims to be a soft contour so I'm gonna see because it looks pretty dark to me. And it 
this looks pretty dark, but I'm gonna do the Kim Kardashian technique and do a three. So, it's been a minute since I've done a full contour look. And I use a beauty blender because brushes I feel like will rip off the foundation once you get to this point. So you just kind of. All right, so really quickly, we're just gonna go over the um, contour with a powder bronzer. And I finally got Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I hear everyone talk about it all the time, and I'm so excited. Like it smells like the ocean and vacation, and it makes me excited. So everyone says that it's the perfect soft contour shade. I just set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm just gonna spray my highlighting brush really quickly with it. And I'm gonna go in with Becca's Champagne Pop because it's been my obsession lately. I think it is so, so, so pretty. Like, it's just like the perfect contour shade. And I think if you're doing full, full plan, that you definitely need a highlight. I'll do my cutest bow. I think it's very dramatic. And I love it. And I like to over highlight. Like, I mean, I'll probably do this for about 15 hours. And I did finish up the look with um, Smashbox In Demand Liquid Lipstick. All right, so this is the completed book. Um, I really like the, the shaping foundation. I think it's a good product. I think if you're trying to save your money and you really, really want something that's going to be two-in-one, make things easy for you, you don't have to go find a contour stick or foundation, they match the contour color to the foundation that you have chosen for your skin tone. So, I mean, even, I feel like everything matches perfectly. Even to, I'm not spray tan, I haven't been going tanning, nothing. So I picked the um, color in the store, super easy, just swatched it on my hand and I was able to find the right color and the right contour color. So I think it looks really pretty. It's definitely full glam and it's full coverage. It says it's medium coverage, I would say it's more full coverage. You're gonna get a full coverage foundation with this product and you're gonna get kind of a dramatic contour with this product also so you have to want that if you're looking for something more low-key then maybe this isn't your product but it is actually my vlog